From a structural engineering perspective, one of the most important characteristics of a truss is that all the elements of the structure carry load either in tension or compression. When the, when the truss is in this configuration under load, these outermost diagonals are in compression. For that reason, they didn't need to be post-tensioned as far as the final configuration of the bridge is concerned. Yep. However, when you pick it up with transporters from this, from these two points, the truss carries load in a fundamentally different way. The outer ends are going to droop downward. And when right. they droop downward, that's going to stretch the diagonals because of their orientation. Now those two elements are, in fact, in tension. For that reason, those diagonals had to be post-tensioned prior to the movement, a very unorthodox requirement that yeah. was related specifically to the use of a post-tensioned reinforced concrete right. truss. If you want to know more, you can hear the full story behind this disaster and others on our Why Stuff Fails channel.